I'm going to show you how to be able to make the best fried chicken ever super duper duper easy the things that you'll be needing is I have some buttermilk you can get any brand I have flour I also have breadcrumbs and what I did was I placed it the way that I'll be putting um, the stuff on it actually goes this way you want to put the um, the actual flour on first you'll be putting the buttermilk on and then you'll be dipping it inside of the uh, breadcrumbs and I'll be using Wesson's um, you can use whatever type of oil you like I like to use canola oil um, what I like to do is go ahead and get this set up um, my hubby is actually on his way but not yet so I'm just going to get the chicken breaded at least so I can have something done and once I get it breaded I'm going to put it inside of here and just lay it out you'll be so surprised sometimes when you let breading sit for a while it just hold better and it tastes better too so I'll show you first what you want to do you guys is make sure you um, rinse off your chicken And I got my chicken from uh, Publix. You get your chicken from wherever you want to get it from. We got the tenderloin kind. You can do the thighs like this. You can do wings like this. Whichever one you decide, you can be able to use. So what I do is, like I said, you guys go ahead and rinse off the chicken. And you want to have some seasoning too. So um, it's up to you what seasoning you use. I'll be using a uh, Lowry seasoning. Um, you can use all types of different seasonings that they have out there. And you only got to use seasoning if you don't want to. So you just rinse the chicken off. And make sure you clean up as you go. You are working with meat so you're not trying to cross contaminate anything. Okay, you guys? Okay, so what I do now is I put the chicken inside of the flour. Make sure you get it nice and coated. Okay, and then after that, you guys, you're going to place it inside of the buttermilk. Nice and coated. Nice and coated. And now what you're going to do is put it right inside of the breading. See, if you have everything lay out correctly you can just automatically put everything in it makes it so much easier remember you guys you know my model as you uh cook you clean up as you go so just put it all deep in there make sure you got it nice and in, in there and make sure it's nice and coated so now what i'm gonna do you guys i have my aluminum foil I always put aluminum foil on the baking sheet and i'm just gonna go ahead and just lay that right inside of there and what i'm gonna do you guys is i am going to um just let it sit. I'm going to put it in the refrigerator and then let it sit in there. And then once he called me, I'm going to put it um, in the hot grease. Just cold it. And you don't have to pre-do it. It's up to you. But like I said, I figure I can go ahead and get this together um, versus wait. I want them to have it nice and hot. So we put it on one side, coat it nice and good. And then the next side, you coat it. Just make sure you coat it, you guys, really good. Okay. And then you take it and you just kind of just lay it right inside. You might have to wind up uh, refilling your breadcrumbs because sometimes you do have to do that. You might get away with not, but more than likely you probably do have to put some more breadcrumbs in here. So just coat it real nice and neat. Okay, so that's nice and coated. So what I'm going to do again, I'm just going to just lay it right next to And the reason why I like to put aluminum foil, because it's so much easier to work with um, with aluminum foil. Let me rinse off my hand real quick. Now remember you guys, you're working with meat, so you want to make sure you're rinsing your hands and stuff properly. So I don't want to make this video too long, you guys, but keep on each tenderloin or each piece of meat that you have go through and dip it and like I said you guys you may have to put more flour and um, breadcrumbs in there okay you guys okay you guys so I am done cleaning up I made sure I again clean up as I go I already washed the dishes and now I'm just about to put this in the um, the actual um, refrigerator so 
like I said, my husband on his way, but not right now. And I want it to be fresh and hot. So I'll just um, cook it like almost maybe about 20 minutes before he get here. Because I still got to cook the rice and stuff. I have not put the rice on either. Um, I do have a good video to show you how to cook rice uh, in 20 minutes. The excellent rice. Um, I will provide that video to you. But again, I'm just going to go ahead now. Um, and this is how the breading and stuff look. It looks really, really nice. I'm telling you, the longer you let the breading stay on, the more actually it sticks to um, everything. You don't have any problems. Um, I made a video um, of how to do green tomatoes and that's a solution too. To be able to make sure that the braiding and stuff stay on your um, green tomato, just let it sit for a little while instead of just putting it directly inside of the greens. Uh, but again, once he comes back, I mean, once he gets close, I'll come back at you guys and show you how I cook it and all that good stuff, okay? So stay tuned. Okay, you guys, what I did is I went ahead and I put the um, rice on um, and I got the chicken out the refrigerator. I'm just going to fill this up. I mean, I mean, don't, you don't got, it don't take a whole bunch of oil, but just kind of eye it. Make sure it's enough to be able to coat kind of the bottom and the top, but it don't have to be a whole, whole bunch. Um, I'm going to put it on the number eight. I'm going to let that heat up. And the way that I can be able to tell too when it's heated up <clears throat> is what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take a little bit of my um, breading and I would just put it in the oil. And if it sizzled, that means it's ready. And if it didn't, that means it still needs to be able to um, get hot. I'm going to put it like maybe between seven and eight. You don't want it too hot. What I already did was I got me a plate with some um, paper towels on it. So once the actual chicken come from the um, grease, I'll just lay it on there with a aluminum foil on it. Um, I also have me some tongs. And I have a fork. Um, and that's what I have. So what I'm going to do, you guys, I'm going to just wait until this get hot. And once it get hot, I'll come back. Okay? Okay, you guys, the um, actual um, grease is hot. Uh, again, like I said, if you want to test it, you can always put a little bit of the breading in, which I already did anyway. I am going to go ahead and put, um, probably, I probably can get maybe three to four in there. I'm not for sure. Let me see, because these are pretty big. And just lay it in there, nice and neat. And I find that it's kind of easier to um, use the tong to put the chicken in versus um, the fork. And don't put too many, you guys. So since I got three more left, I'm just gonna go ahead and use let the three. But if I had like a whole bunch more left versus grand total six, I probably would put one more. But you don't want to crowd the skillet. Because if you crowd the skillet, that's when it don't cook good. So let it cook real good on one side. Once you see it start browning, that's when you turn it over um, to cook on the other side. Okay? Okay, you guys. So you can see it getting brown on the other side. So once that happens, go ahead and turn it over. What I like to do too, I like to take that fork and I like to just kind of put some holes inside of the chicken just so you can make sure you're cooking it thoroughly through. I cook one side and then I cook the other side. I cook both sides twice, but not um, making sure I don't overcook it. And then when I turn it on the other side, I'm gonna stick that fork inside the other side just to make sure that you're cooking the whole way through. And don't touch it too much because like if you keep turning it over too much, you're going to mess up the breading. Um, and then you're going to have a bunch of breading inside of the oil, okay? Okay, you guys, it is done. And this is how it looks. It tastes so freaking good already. I put the other three inside of the skillet, so that's cooking also. Get finished with those. Get finished with your rice. And you have yourself some nice chicken. Hopefully that helped you. If you will, please make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe, you guys. Bye.